Hey guys, a video for the Nature and Environment in Japan playlist. We're in a home center in the pet department. And as you can see, they are selling a variety of bugs. Bugs and beetles. So some of you have seen our previous videos showing how alive Japan is in summer. We showed you lots of bugs and beetles and crawly things in Japan in summer. Might be surprised to see that they can actually sell the bugs in the home center for six or seven dollars each. <laughs> Some of the more popular bugs are actually ten dollars each. <laughs> and people buy them. We know lots of lots of people who have kids and those little containers are really common. You'll go into people's genkans. It's sort of a compromise. They don't want to leave them outside. So they bring them in the Genkan, which is, as you know, where people change their shoes. So they're sort of in the house without being in the house. They're sort of kept where the shoes are kept, just inside the front door. So we often see these containers with bugs in there. So occasionally they're caught for real. You can also buy in the... So same home centre you can buy nets and things and the kids do sometimes buy have nets and they'll go looking in parks and beside creeks and out in the rice fields and things and catch things themselves but lots of them don't which is why there's a big market for these things that's kabuto mushi see that that beetle there it's got a thing it's got a little thing on the front of it, it looks like looks like a samurai's helmet which is samurai's helmet it's called a kabuto so they call them Kabuto Mushi because they're thing. Not this one, the one that, the previous one. Because that one there at the top, see? Looks like a Kabuto. Looks like a Japanese samurai's helmet. Oh, and these are these are like, like there's a Kabuto on the on the on the packet. That's a Kabuto Mushi there. And these are little they're like jelly cups. Human jelly cups, but they're specifically for these guys. They've sort of got, got tree sap in them because that's what these guys eat in the wild. And just by coincidence, same day we shot that video in the home center, we went to a festival and the kids won two of these beetles in a sort of a game thing and they won two of them. So the Kabuto one there with the, with the pointy thing at the front is the male and the other one's the female apparently. So they like wood, so that's wood shavings in there, and the two little jelly cups, little tree sap cups. So that's what they eat in the wild. They like the, the tree sap, apparently. So if you find them in the wild, that's usually what they're doing, eating tree sap. So they dig it, apparently, right into it, as you can see. As do the semi. We've showed you the cicadas in previous videos, and the same thing, the trees that give off any sort of sap are really popular with the cicadas, that's what they like to eat. So it's funny because Japanese kids will often scream when they see a bug or a beetle or something flying around the room or landing on the table or something. Adults too, a lot of Japanese adults too freak out about insects. But some insects like these they love. So these ones, another one's dango mushi, the little ones that roll up in a ball and some insects like that, they absolutely love them, so it's strange how they decide which ones are cool and <laughs> which ones aren't. But they love these, they're really popular. Anyway, there it was. More videos coming soon.